Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be talking about iOS 18.2 Beta 1, and this is probably the biggest update to iOS 18 in general. Um, 18.1, we got some of the Apple intelligence features, but they were more of just the writing ones, the keyboard kind of stuff, you know, not too fancy, but um, here in 18.2, that did bring us the... Uh, if I can stop tapping things, the image creation, um, which I still don't have access to. It's been 48 hours, almost 48 hours. Still don't have access to that. Um, we do have a new Discover Apple Intelligence uh, little band right there. That actually just popped up um, where you can learn more. Uh, that tries to take you to tips, so I don't have the tips app installed. Um, and then, like I said, image creation, I'm still waiting on the access to that. You have to request access to that for the beta separately from the regular Apple intelligence stuff. But then the biggest update here um, is to Siri with the chat GPT. And Siri uh, requests are now handled through chat GPT if Siri is unable to answer uh, the question. Uh, if you turn on confirm request, that will uh, ask permission before sending your question to ChatGPT. I have that turned off so it'll automatically just go straight to ChatGPT. I don't really need to uh, accept that. So that is very, very cool. Um, we've got some other things that are you know kind of smaller in there, but the image creation stuff and the ChatGPT with Siri are the main features. Of course, we still don't have Siri 2.0, uh, so just talking to Siri and stuff like that, it doesn't have that conversational awareness. Um, it doesn't have that thing where you can kind of stumble over your words and it will figure it out. Uh, none of that is in here yet. Um, it's just the ChatGPT integration. But iOS 18.2 is running very, very smooth. Um, again, this is just beta one. There are some bugs that I wanna go over, so we'll hop over here to Feedback Assistant um, so I can show you guys what's, oops, I don't wanna enter the password. Hold on one second, let me get signed into it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to enter the password now because I hit the wrong button. Give me one second. All right, we are in Feedback Assistant. So a recent activity here, uh, dictation is unresponsive. So if you go to dictate something on the keyboard, like right here, Snapchat lag and keyboard lag. And of course, now it works. Okay, well that was not working before. Uh, let me try here in messages. Give me one second, let me pull something up. Test, 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 test. Okay, so that was, get rid of that. So that was not working uh, when I did my uh, beta live stream. So whatever the issue was with that is now fixed, I guess, or now working. Um, so <laughs> that did start working and you can see uh, investigation complete unable to reproduce. Okay, whatever, yeah, it started working again. Uh, the Image Playground app, if you accidentally delete that from your device, I don't know if this is a bug or if it's just a beta thing where um, uh, it's not in the App Store yet, you can't re, uh, restore it to your device. So um, that is kind of a thing there. Uh, the Snapchat keyboard is still kind of laggy. Um, that's kind of the only app that has some lag in it. But other than that, everything's been working pretty good. Um, and then, like I said, the dictation started working. I didn't know it was working until I just tried that because I tried it again yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me after uh, some time had passed since the install and it started working again. So uh, it didn't, st like I said, it didn't work yesterday when I tried, but it started working again today is the earliest I know of. So I don't know what was up with that. Um, but there is iOS 18.2. Some of the main features, there's there's some other stuff in there, which we'll go over at a later date. Still playing around with it, still waiting on access to some things, like I said, with the image creation um, to try out the Jinmoji and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you're looking for a good case, you can see one right here. Uh, I will leave a link to it down in the description. A lot of people ask me what case this is. It's a really nice case. It is themed off the retro iMac G3. Of course, this is the Ruby one. They do have it in graphite and uh, Bondi blue and all that kind of stuff. So very, very nice case. Uh, reminds me of the retro iMac. Well, that's what it's supposed to remind you of because that's what it is themed after. So nice case there. It does support MagSafe, which is a must for me these days. MagSafe wallet, MagSafe chargers, um, all that kind of stuff. And it's got a very strong MagSafe magnet in it. Um, I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.